Today, I show you how to get nice smooth edges without adding too much geometry, but still enough to make it look really good. Anyway, stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Inventomart, and today I'm going to be going over bevels and kind of a, I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but it's kind of one of the better ways to kind of reimagine how to do it but I'm going to show you a few different things and why bevels tend to be difficult with blender and first off I'm going to start out with uh, just base the basics here I usually start with the when doing bevels I use the edge select tool and to do a bevel I select that and wherever the selection tool is I try to get the cursor far away from that because when you select the cursor and press W and press the bevel tool if you're really close to it it moves it really fast as to if you select far away it still moves it pretty fast but you have a little bit more control over it and if you hold down shift you have a little bit more even more control but for example, when you try to use the bevel tool here, you just use a bevel, it ends up being really weird with that. And one way to compensate for that is to create a loop, edge loop in here, and you can actually create two different edge loops, select that edge, and then do a bevel, and it stops and then you can get a nice decent looking edge on there but what makes it difficult is if you're trying to do multiple edges at the same time it doesn't really go smoothly and you end up still with weird edges like that so one thing I found how to do was kinda do everything a little bit it's a little bit more involved to do but it ends up turning out better and do that I just create two edge loops and kind of move them towards the edge this is almost the same exact method that I use for doing a subdivide to make smooth edges because you can do that that way and you get somewhat smooth edges but that's that way and I'm trying to use the actual bevel tool but to do that I just create those edge loops and select the different edges here or different vertices along the edge and just select all these on all four corners let's just do the whole box while we're at it might as well it'll make it easier <laughs> and once we get all these selected I'm actually going to be showing you something I haven't shown yet and that's the uh, how to create vertex groups and so we have all the selected and we go over here and just where it says vertex groups under the little triangle symbol there we click the plus and it creates a vertex group we can name this edges or corners edges edge corners and just click assign and then that assigns all those vertices that we selected to those points there and we can select those deselect those if we want to select them again it'll select those just those ones and now what we can do we can go into the modifiers and do bevel and we can click on vertex groups click on edge corners and do percent and it looks like there's nothing going on here there's never so slight corner if you look in 
zoom in enough you can see it's there but what you do is move this up and it moves up I'll just keep moving it up until it won't let you anymore and what's happening being that we put those edge loops in there it's actually using those edge loops as kind of a stopping point because you can kind of adjust it afterwards and I'm just going to create more segments here but you can create those edge loops and move these in and out and just select the entire edge loop to create kind of get the edge that you're looking for you can do that on all the different edge loops see this one that's what usually happens you usually get one edge that's way longer than the other and that doesn't usually turn out quite like it's supposed to and so let's move that one in and move the whole thing to the side and see we got this one here change and make that one look better I don't know what happened there <laughs> Don't you love it when everything glitches out on you? And we got that one there. And so we got really nice edges now. And so we can go ahead and apply that. And so we have really nice geometry that shows up. And it ends up looking decent with the edges there. So you get nice looking edges on everything. And another cool trick is if you want to make that look smooth, just click on smooth here. Everything looks smooth, but if you want the edges to, or the faces to be a little bit more pronounced, you can click on the vertes, vertices little tab here and click auto smooth and you can change the angle and it'll make certain parts smooth and certain parts not smooth. Like if you make everything flat, you can change this. It doesn't do anything, but if you click on smooth, it'll make it smooth at certain angles. Once you get to a certain point, it works. But let me show you on a something else here, I like just a regular cube size that up I'm just going to select that there and I'm just going to bevel it and smooth that and so when you smooth it, it looks really goofy and then if you click on auto smooth you can change it so that it looks smooth up to a certain percentage like that it looks decent but if you just do it just a little bit smoothing on it, it makes it look way better than it was rather than the all smooth or all flat so if you click on smooth auto smooth and just couple percent just like four right on four yeah like four percent makes it look good it just seems to work out well and that's pretty much all I had for this video I just wanted to kind of show how to do edges because I know it can get complicated and I'll just try to show something else real quick here. So they say if we wanted to bring those in, we could do the bevel tool there. It would kind of end up being a little bit wonky. But you can carefully do that and 
make those sharp edges a little bit smoother. But that's the uh, bevel tool that you can use one by one or with the actual modifier. And they both work relatively well, but the using the vertex groups, you can actually get really decent looking corners because, I mean, that's almost right where it needs to be if you're wanting to have a nice smooth edge on something. And that's like one of the hardest things to get in Blender is a good nice rounded edge like that. That's one of the benefits that most CAD programs have is the uh, fillet or fillet or whatever it's called. I don't know how it's pronounced or what it's really supposed to be called, but they usually always do that really well. But with Blender, it's a little bit more difficult. But once you figure out how to do that and you can get it right, then it's no problem. You can just get it done and you're good to go. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching.